hi family, hi friends. <clears throat> well, like my typical OCD self, I took a second look at my wallet, thought about things, and just went ahead and went back to the record show and um, have no regrets. Um, you know, there was um, one seller in particular, Dave, I think is his name, who I got the coal train from, and um, <clears throat> I didn't go through all this stuff. His prices were just, well, he gave me a deal, so that was, so there was him, and then the person that I bought the uh, George Harrison from, his whole table was half price, which is how I got that. It was 26, and it was only 13. And I thought to myself, um, I ought to go back, and I'm glad I did. Um, I don't know that I can show everything that I else that I picked up in one video, but I'll go ahead and just kind of run through. I got some nice stuff, and I just took a chance on some stuff because I was able to get several things for two and three dollars. So, like this Tangerine Dream, I picked this up for like I think three bucks. And it's, as you see, in beautiful condition. That's what we're listening to. I remember this. Um, uh, it, it got American exposure at the time with a video on uh, VH1, Marrakesh. So um, it's not your traditional. Uh, I like that die cut cover too, if you can see that. Yeah. On the back as well. Really cool. It's not the traditional Tangerine Dream sound. It's pretty commercial, but uh, it's nice. Got that. They're in no order, so I'll just grab them. Exmal Deutschland Toxin. I had been needing this. Two bucks. Yeah. On 4AD. I have their other, the first album and the one that right after this, uh, Viva. This was another $2 find in perfect condition Jean Michael Zara Equinox in great condition the guy that I bought from <clears throat> liked me so well he gave this to me Anthony Phillips private parts and pieces number two I had it on CD but not vinyl back to the pavilion I thought I did I do now he gave it to me. Most of these records are in absolute mint condition, as you can see. Here's another one that I just bought for two bucks because it's on the lifestyle label, Latitude. I listened to a little bit of this. It sounds like there might be a couple of nice tracks on it. Um, kind of that slightly cheesy new agey kind of sound. But there's been some good um, releases on this label, Lifestyle. So again, the price was right. This was only two dollars. Stuntman by Edgar Froese. I didn't have it yet. I haven't listened to this yet. Again, cheese. Excellent condition for me. It was at two, maybe three dollars. Everything was half price. It was amazing. So I just got a bunch of stuff like this. Michael Garrison, Eclipse. This was amazing. I got this for like, as a result of it being uh, half price, I got it for like six dollars. It's on its, uh, it's an original. On his own label back 1981 Windspell Records. This is some of that real nice early synth stuff along the lines of what Tangerine Dream and Klaus Schultz started to lay down. This is really, we was really happy to find this. Jeez, you know, and um, here was another one. Now, this was a disappointment because the wrong record is inside of here. It's a comp, it's a comp, but at the same time, I can't complain too much. It was only $2. Uh, you know, I hate it when that happens, though. Here, this was a cheap, a 12 inch single by Moloko, who I like quite well. I have several CD singles, but this is my first vinyl by the band Moloko. I can't remember the woman's name. She went on to do her own thing afterwards solo. This was a nice find. Michael Honig, the guy that did the departure from the Northern Wasteland. Except one. I did not actually remember that he had another album out. 
And this is on the Capital Cinema label. Again, another one that was at most three dollars, probably only two. This was two dollars. I love this. Roger Eno Voices. This is really this is beautiful album. I'm just gonna keep going, maybe. Nice. I'm enjoying the Tangerine Dream. It's going perfect with my laid-back mood now. <clears throat> I got another original Michael Garrison, Prisms. Also 1981, Windspell Records. Private, you know, this was a pri his own private pressing label, you know. I was real pleased to find these. This I took a chance on. Zihan Kamian. It's um, electronic. Electronica from Germany and I played one track and I liked it it was uh, I wouldn't say it's intelligent dance music but maybe getting close to that it's good this also I got for maybe two dollars it's still not it's on the GSL label Hysterical stereo loops, beats, and bloody lips. Just played a little bit of this. And it doesn't start off like loops, beats. It starts off kind of this shardy, edgy, loud post rock. Interesting. Yeah. A little, a little ring worn, but. This is an original John Coltrane Sunship on Impulse. Yeah, yes. This is a good one. Sunship is so good. I've never shown my John Coltrane CDs. I have quite a bit of this. <clears throat> Pick this up on vinyl. Perfect condition. Man with the horn. Miles. Yeah, yeah. A little ring worn, but the record's in excellent shape. It's a, it's a reissue, but I didn't have it on vinyl. Of course, I have it on CD Milestones. Mm -hmm. Ancient Future. I have an early album by this band. They go under New Age, world music. They make some wonderful music. Again, this was maybe a dollar. Ancient future, beautiful music. <sighs> Selflessness, John Coltrane. Had to get it. On impulse, this doesn't look like a reissue to me. At all it doesn't feel like it either and uh, I looked at the label happy to get these um, been needing to, to add them to my collection gong Pierre Moirland's gong Ex Ex Expresso 2 I have all these on CD but I didn't have this on vinyl or I did it one time and then I got rid of it and then this one I never did so I was happy to get this today. Pierre Marlin's Gong. As you can see, again, these are in just wonderful condition, really. That was the other thing. It was like, man, I got it. I got to get these. This one I used to have when it came out. Didn't know really. Shanti. This is cool. This is back when Zakir Hussein, the tabla master who's played with John McLaughlin, was just a teenager. I didn't know that at the time when I got this. And this was great. This was uh, like maybe five or six dollars. It's a white label. I gotta show white label promo. And this is really a, a neat album. I've played part of it already and it brings it back to me. One of those records that, you know, again, God only knows why I sold this record. It's so cool. But yeah, I got Shanti. Featuring a teenage Zakir Hussein and someone else is on here. Assisted by Pranesh Khan. I don't know who that is. I know these other guys I'm not sure of. 
they may have some background. Let's keep going here. Another original impulse. This was, and I got it at a decent price. Freddy Hubbard, the artistry. Yeah, this is, uh, it's an original. When I saw the chance to grab a couple of those impulses at less than astronomical prices, I said, I got it. Enrico Rava, The Pilgrim and the, and the Stars on ECM. Good horn player. This was two bucks. Youssef Latif. Hush and hush and hush and thunder. Played a little bit of this, and this is one on the funkier side of what he does. I like it. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna really enjoy this album. It's got some great players on it. Brother Youssef Latif. Took a chance on this because the price was nice. It was low walrus played this already there's a couple tracks i like but it's on the janus label and um that was a cool label that used to um seemingly take chances on all kinds of stuff and this is kind of a somewhere between rock and r&b and at times trying to push it a little further Just, you know, the cursory look, I didn't see any names that I recognize, but um, I haven't looked real close. But uh, Walrus, I thought this would be... I just love stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? If I uh, had the money to blow, I would buy, you know, almost every odd record from the past that, that I've never heard, like... You know, stuff like this with these goofy covers and names. Got this Peter Barden's, Pete Barden's Seen One Earth. Great. From Camel. I have a couple of his other solo albums. Took a chance on this. The guy was thinking it was it would might be Prague Candle. There's only a couple songs where they do some prog type of things. It's more of a, I wouldn't say folk. It's kind of cool, actually. I like the cover. It, it's fitting. Nice skatefold. This was a nice find. Candle. Um. Again, it's a little hard to describe. So it is on the prog side, but not completely. You know, I mean, it's like there's, uh, mm, I guess maybe new age, you know, and rockish type of moves on here. Um, kind of curious, you know. Like I said, it was like I was talk talking to the seller about it, and he didn't know a thing. He was trying to say he thought it was prog, and I said, mm, maybe, maybe not. He went ahead and gave it, you know, we, again, we bartered, so didn't think too much for it. I picked this up. My first listen is that I'm not going to really like this too much, but I collect Famous Charisma. I do. And it was not too much. Spread Eagle is the name of the band. So I grabbed it, and it is. It's Famous Charisma. Uh, that Charisma put out some strange records, you know, that I would wonder why they bothered. But I just love the label, you know, Charisma. Just the design. It's just, I don't know. I just, I always like seeing it and I like seeing different artists on the label. So I collect it. <laughs> so I grabbed it today. It's maybe $7, maybe. This was cool. I got this for five bucks. John Lee's solo album. This guy is from uh, Barclay James Harvest. This is really good. On the Harvest label, too. This was a nice find. It's a reissue, Harvest Heritage reissue, but beautiful. Great album. This was a nice find for eight bucks. Um, it's like a greatest hits, Roxy Music, Brian Ferry. Double album, though. This is a UK island pressing. 
eight bucks. Just beautiful. You know, I just, and it's just in great shape. You know, beautiful. Look at that, how sweet and glossy. And, you know, just, it was an ace condition, just. And then, you know, I just love the different variations of island. Nice UK press. I love Roxy music, so I was happy to get this. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, nice reissue. Lothar and the Hand People machines. You ever heard that? They use a theremin um, to great effect in this band. This finally got it. Camel's first album. This is a UK press, too. And this one I got for free as well because he noticed it at the last minute after he quoted me a price and he said, ah, we'll keep it the same. And so he gave it to me. Nice. I've had this forever on CD but never vinyl. My camel collection is complete now when it comes to their, soul, their CD, their studio albums. I think. I'll have to check. Love me some Stephen Halpern, so I found another one. Timeless solo piano. Here was a real nice find that I got. Um, he dropped it down to half price because he wanted 30 for it originally, and he gave it to me for 15. You don't see these records. Secret Oyster. Furtive Pearl. From Sweden. I have one other album of theirs. I believe this is the um, a black and white of the original cover. I wish... I have um, on CD this original cover. Love this band. Um, what's Karsten Vogel? Is that who's in here? And Claude Bowling. Great stuff, yeah. Real happy to find this today. It's in great condition. Really happy I went back. Yeah, it's uh, going. I am going to show one more and then I'm going to stop. Um, just I only have a few more but I'll get to them maybe tomorrow and then Salvation I have their second album but and this is kind of just it's a little you know it's it's psych but I think these guys smoked a lot of pot and thought they were better than they were but I'm glad I got this gatefold okay let me pop this you know, I never see it. Or the the other one, Gypsy Carnival. And it's in great shape. You know, it's like whoever owned it never played, you know, really. Oops, yeah. And the ABC label, yeah. So let me stop there. So, yeah, I had to go back and, uh, you know, I had my camera again, but I got to digging and he said, man, this is what I'm here to do is to dig, you know. So much for filming. All right, talk to you later.